And we're back 441. Breaking news out of the East Bay that you need to know about. We have Interstate 880 shut down in both directions at Marina. We've got live pictures here on the right side of your screen. Let's bring in George Rast to the scene. He's there to the story. He's been following this uh, since getting here. And George, we're seeing a potential delay that could impact the entire commute. Oh, no doubt, James. And this will, of course, have ripple effects through the East Bay uh, because with the closure of the freeway in both directions, most of the traffic is going to be northbound, but a lot of this traffic will also be southbound. It does carry quite a bit of uh, traffic in both sides of the freeway, principally northbound. Um, but again, James, it's going to be hours before they're able to reopen the freeway. And when they do, there may be some additional lane closures because, as we mentioned before, the uh, original assessment of the damage to the center divider is such that not only do they need to clean up the debris, but there may need to be some emergency repair to the center divider before they're able to get the freeway reopened. So it's possible we could see a partial opening of the freeway in uh, one lane or the other. Now, we are looking on the southbound side of the freeway, and the big rig started in this direction. One of the vehicles in which the uh, most severe damage occurred and in which the greatest injuries occurred is right here. The big rig then slammed through the center divider and ended up back behind this fire truck. So it's on the northbound side of the freeway. And as Yoli Aceves, who's live on the scene, told us, as many as 13 vehicles that she, she's counted involved in this accident, most of those on the northbound side resulted from hitting the debris, although uh, the initial reports indicate that there may have been some contact with the big rig by some of those northbound cars. All right, we're going to continue following this. I've just been given a note from our producers that the Alameda County uh, uh, health officials are reporting nine victims in this that have been taken to area hospitals, three of them listed in critical condition. So nine injuries, three of those people injured in, in uh, critical condition. We're going to have more on this coming up. We've got team coverage of this breaking news story on the other side of this break with Cron Force Will Tran, Cron Force Yolia Seves, and Cron Force Jackie Sissel along with us here in the studio. So keep it tuned here. We'll have more on this story coming up in just a moment.